To start developing rules using the SMC API, we need to first download a few softwares. We start by downloading the JDK 8, accept the license agreement and choose the appropriate version. We choose Eclipse as our integrated development environment and we download it from the official website. Once you have downloaded and installed all softwares, open Eclipse and let's start by importing a template project. Click on File, Import, Existing Maven Projects, then Next. Browse to the location of the template project, add project to working set, then finish. When going to the source folder, we find the example rule class. This class has an overridden method called check. Here is where the checking logic is implemented. Let's start by adding a simple example that creates a result for all the entities that come to this method. Let's import our result class. As we can see, we need the key to create the result, and we get that from the entity unique ID. We need the result name and result description. From here, we can access the checking context, and that provides us with several services. We use the result service to create the result. We set the name, description, and add the entity to that result. We save, and we need to build our code. Right click on the project, run as, maven install. Once we've built the jar, it is automatically moved to the SMC installation folder. Let's open SMC and open the SMC building. Once the model is loaded, let's head over to the rule set manager where we will find the SMC API project. Let's go ahead and open rule sets and move our own rule to the new rule set. Let's go back to the checking and we will see that our rule set appears here with our example rule. And these are the parameters of that rule. Let's add the new filter. For example, we can filter columns and we can filter the quantity, the length that must be greater than say four meters. Then we click the check button and we will see that we have two results and the visualization shows that just the two biggest columns are here. And here we have the name placeholder with the description placeholder.